Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making an easy chocolate plasma cake. So we're going to start off with the cake, the bottom layer. I have my eggs and I'm going to add to my eggs some sugar. And what I want to do is with an electric mixer, I want to beat that until I get a nice, fluffy, almost pale yellow color um, batter. And what that's going to do is by adding that electric mixer and beating it on high, we're going to get a lot of air bubbles so that when we make this cake, we're going to get a nice, fluffy, soft cake layer for our first step in the plasma cake. And this is what we're looking for. So as I mentioned before, we're going to get that pale yellow color. We see a lot of air bubbles and it's doubled in size. That's when you know you can go on to the next step which is adding the rest of the ingredients. So the next step is going to be to take a sift. I'm gonna add my baking powder, my cocoa, and my flour to the sift. And we're gonna slowly sift in this flour mixture with our eggs and our sugar. The reason we're not adding this all at once is because if we were to add all of that flour and cocoa into that egg and sugar mixture, it's going to weigh down that egg and sugar mixture and that's just going to ruin the effect of using that electric mixture making those air bubbles appear so we're going to add it slowly so that we don't make those air bubbles disappear that's very important so keep folding in that flour mixture until you've used it all up So here I have my springform pan and I've lined it with some parchment paper and I'm going to add my batter to the springform pan and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly, once I've added everything, I'm going to slowly pat on my counter with the pan so that I get all those air bubbles to come to the surface. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want the air bubbles, these large air bubbles, to be inside of the cake so that when I cut it there's just large holes in the cake. I want it to be a nice even layer. And here is my simple syrup, so it's very easy. Once it comes to a boil, turn it down to medium low heat and cook it for another five to 10 minutes. It's very simple. Once my cake is out of the oven, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my simple syrup and I'm going to coat the cake with all of that simple syrup. I'm gonna use everything, but I'm gonna spoon it on top. I'm not gonna pour it, because you will ruin the cake. Make sure you do this while the cake is hot, so right out of the oven and then just gently make sure that you coat every single layer of that cake. So for the filling, I have half of my milk in a bowl and I'm going to cut open three packets of vanilla pudding. I'm using a vanilla pudding that you have to cook on the stovetop. I highly recommend using that versus the American one where you just mix it with cold milk. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the three packets to my milk and I'm gonna add my sugar. I'm not using a lot of sugar in this pudding mixture because I would rather add sugar at the end then make the pudding too sweet now and then ruin the whole dessert. So I recommend that you guys do that as well. Then you can taste it and see if you need more sugar or if it's perfect for you. The remaining milk for the pudding has been heating up on my stovetop. Once it's heated through, I'm going to add that mixture that we just created and I'm gonna cook it until I get a nice creamy pudding consistency. That's exactly what we're looking for. No lumps, everything is nice and smooth. So here I have two bowls and I'm just gonna split this evenly in between the two bowls. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add chocolate. So I'm using a Balkan brand of chocolate, it's a semi-sweet chocolate, and I'm gonna add roughly 120 grams. Now when it comes to this recipe, I want you to add as much or as little as you like when it comes to chocolate. But I want you to please, please, please try it before you proceed to the next step. You wanna make sure that the consistency is perfect and it's what you like. For me, 120 grams was perfect, but for someone else, they might wanna add more, someone might wanna add less, but please make sure that you try this before proceeding to the next step. Once the pudding has cooled, I'm gonna work on the vanilla first. I'm just gonna start beating in my butter. So I'm using a stick of butter for each of the fillings. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's going to stiffen up that filling and it's gonna become this beautiful, creamy consistency. 
So I'm just going to add little by little the butter into the vanilla pudding mixture until everything is well combined. After we've added the butter to the vanilla pudding, we're going to add our coconut and we're going to add our shortbread cookie. I'm using Plasma, that's the brand, that's the generic brand in the Balkans that they use for desserts, but you can use any type of shortbread cookie. Just make sure it doesn't have any type of filling on the inside, it's just a basic bland cookie. So I'm going to mix everything until well combined and I'm going to do the same exact thing to the chocolate filling as well. So here I tried the vanilla filling and I decided that it wasn't sweet enough. So I'm adding some powdered sugar. If you're going to do the same thing, please use powdered sugar. Don't use regular sugar. It won't dissolve in the mix. Um, and like I said, it's very important to try both of the fillings to make sure that both of them are sweet enough. It's the same process for the chocolate filling. We're going to do the butter, mix that until well combined, and then we're going to add the plasma or a shortbread cookie that's been crumbled up into little pieces to the chocolate filling. Now, because we're not adding coconut to the chocolate filling, we're going to add a little bit more of that cookie crumble. But if you want, you can also add nuts. I'm not doing nuts for this recipe. I'm just going to do a basic chocolate. But you can do nuts instead of adding the extra dosage of the plasma cookie. So now it's time to assemble the cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my vanilla filling and I'm just going to spoon that on top of that cake. And I'm not going to just dump all of it at once because I don't want too much weight to press down on the cake at once. Um, it'll just kind of smush everything together and I don't want that. So I'm going to do an even layer of that and then I'm going to do the chocolate on top. And then I'm going to let this sit overnight in the fridge. I did this cake around 5 o'clock and then around 8 o'clock the next day. Um, I took off the outer layer of the pan and I started decorating the cake. So I do recommend letting this sit at least six hours in your fridge because you want this to set really nice and beautifully. So the next day I took apart the cake, you guys can see how beautiful it is, all those layers, absolutely gorgeous. I'm decorating this with some chocolate uh, whipped cream and some just chocolate candies I found at my grocery store. Nothing special, but you guys can see those layers are absolutely gorgeous. Once I've decorated my cake, I like to let it sit in the fridge for an additional hour to two hours. I just want that heavy cream to set. I don't want to cut it right away because it's still very soft. And finally, the end result, this absolutely gorgeous and delicious cake. We have that bottom layer that's nice and moist because we added that simple syrup sauce. We have that middle layer of coconut that gives us a nice chewiness. And then that top layer is very creamy and decadent. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this cake. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Tell me what you think. Add me on Instagram. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Be sure to watch my other videos and I will see you guys next time.